Well, it's devastating for any family like ours, including ours, to get the diagnosis. First, um, you most, most of the time you begin seeing symptoms in your child um, and have no idea what, what's causing them. You see some awkwardness, uh, difficulty in walking, um, handwriting beginning to dissipate. Finally, you say, maybe it's time to go to a doctor. And you, so you take your child to the doctor saying, uh, you know, which pill do I take? What's, what's wrong with my child and what do I do about it? Well, the doctor says two things. I think your child has Friedrich's ataxia uh, and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes it gets frustrating. One time I was walking and I lost my balance and fell all the way down my basement stairs. It's like you you try to walk straight and try, you know, to go down the stairs, but it's just, but it just doesn't happen. It's I was scared because I've done all those things in my life, and I was afraid as a how, how much I would lose those abilities to do those things, and of course that's gradually come true. Friedrich's ataxia can also go beyond neurological aspects of the disease and can include heart disease and um, diabetes and scoliosis. What happens with Friedrich's ataxia is that it's because it's progressive, functionality is dying at certain points in their life. Hey, Mommy. How are you? Good. You have to sort of mourn the loss of each of those things as they happen. So it's continuous and that's very difficult because you don't just mourn once and you're done. You have to mourn many times for the loss of each of those things. At our last visit, his cardiologist said to me, he's at risk for a cardiac event at any moment. So uh, then you leave the office thinking, uh, how, do you, how are you supposed to deal with that? I drop him off at school and I worry that I'm not gonna see him at the end of the day. My biggest concern is losing him. Because I can't imagine our life without him. And he's 10. I will never forget at our first international conference, a scientist leaving after three days in a room full of 80 scientists from around the world and I stopped them and said, please help me understand this. Very rare disease, 80 scientists spending three days with us. That's a very high researcher to patient ratio. Why is that? Simple, Ron, we think we can get this one. <laughs> Our research funding goes as far and wide as Australia, uh, throughout the Americas, uh, throughout Europe, East, Central, and, and West, and uh, into the Middle East. So we really do have a situation in which the sun never sets on our research. Farah has taken the advice of experts in the field beautifully. They have done the most efficient thing. They said, we're going to fund research. We're going to do what the scientists tell us is the best way to go. They provided the finances to get things going. And now, more importantly, they provide the infrastructure, the co collaboration, and the drive to keep things moving, to make it possible to take small advances and turn them into large advances. Uh, the signs and symptoms of Friedrich's ataxia come from mitochondrial dysfunction. That kind of mitochondrial dysfunction is common to other diseases like Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, Alzheimer's, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, stroke, diabetes. So just from research on mitochondrial dysfunction alone and how to reverse that dysfunction for energy production can have implications and a huge ripple effect on many other diseases. Fair scientists and the Fair Grant Program are identifying novel treatments that need to get translated into clinical therapies. We're at a breakthrough point with our research where the next two or three years could have a major impact on the success of finding a cure. And the time is critical to keep patients 
from getting worse. If there was a treatment or a cure that could stop my regression or, you know, or make my symptoms better, it would change absolutely everything that I do. Um, I mean, it would just be life changing. All you can do is have hope. Hope and do what you can when you can do it. I just hope for more energy and more balance and I can just run around and be a normal kid. With your help. With your help. With your help. We will find a cure. With your help, we will find a cure. With your help, we will find a cure. With your help, we will find a cure. Find a cure.